When I first bought my DJI FPV drone, I thought it would be as simple, you put the propellers on and you just pull it out of the box and you fly it. However, it will not allow you to take off, at least for me it wouldn't allow me to take off if I was in a specific zone. So if we look up DJI slash fly safe, we can go into the fly safe website. Um, we're going to want to go into the basic one and it's going to load like this. They have a video in our geo system here. So there's a geo zone map. If we open this, it's going to open to like a place around here. Now we can see that we have some red locations and the red location is the restricted zones. We have more information about that if we scroll down here. And for the restricted zone, we're not allowed to fly anywhere around or inside of it. We have warning zones and enhanced warning zones that we can also select. But these aren't important really. We obviously can't fly in restricted zones, but what's our authorization zones, we have um, a little bit of an issue, or at least I had an issue. So if you have an authorization zone and you're like around here, right? We know we can't fly in the red, but we can fly around in the blue and in the yellow. But we actually need to get approval for it. So you need a permit to fly here. Um, to do that, what you need to do is you need to, um, you can select an area to look for this, by the way, to where you specifically want to go. I'm going to go back. So hit the back button. We're going to do unlock requests. So we can click unlock a zone. And if we go to unlock a zone from here, we're going to want to go in and actually log in. So we can log in here and then we're going to see that I have an unlock request right here with my device, which is my FPV. I have my zone name, which I can change uh, the status, which has been accepted. It only took a few minutes to accept, but it was really tedious. The mobile version kind of sucks. So you got to do this on a computer. Um, you have your waiting for review tabs under view, accepted, rejected. So these are your unlock requests. You can click view for the operation and you get more information about it right here. Now, if you don't have an account, you obviously have to go make one. And from here, we can go to new unlock request. Now, if this isn't available, that means you have to create your user. So you're gonna have your background certification and all this is just input inputting information, your personal information, your first name, your last name, your email, your phone, and your industry type. Um, I just put other for industry type. I don't think it's very important. And of course the country or region and we can always modify this later we have device management so this is where you add your drones your devices in here we have pilot management and that's where you add yourself as the pilot and that's really it then you can go to unlock request click new unlock request scroll down through all this legal stuff click confirm you can do custom unlocking which is where you can draw a circle or, or area around the region where you're flying you can do zone unlocking I'm going to do zone unlocking that way we can lock out an entire zone and from here um, if you haven't added uh, you haven't created your device you can just um, click add device and you'll create your device now you're gonna need your flight controller SSN or your SN and your aircraft model so to do this we're gonna to have to go into the DJI fly now application so in the fly now application we are going to be at the very basic I don't have my drone hooked up from here, we're just going to go to profile. In profile, we're going to go to device management. From here, we can see our aircraft SN. And it's going to be, or for me at least, it's the same as my flight controller SN. And that's what we're going to put in the form. Our aircraft model is a drop down menu, and we can select what aircraft we have. And then we have our device name. It is up at the top right above the aircraft SN. So that's going to be your device name. So you're just going to want to confirm that. And from here, uh, I'm not going to add my device because it's already added. And you would do the same thing for the pilot. If it's already added, you would just click these drop down menus and they appear here. And then we can click next through this. Now we can unlock a specific zone. Obviously, we're not going to be able to unlock a restricted zone, but we can unlock this zone right here. So if we click this, we're going to have to click our time and range. Uh, we could also input a specific address up here if we want to get close to where we're flying. So for our time and our time range, we're going to want to do the day that we're doing it until the when we're not doing it. And for here, the specific part right here, we are just limited to the same day. So if we wanted to choose a different day, we can do the 25th and it says that it'll go to the 27th. So it looks like it'll be two days. So if we go the 30th, it'll be the first. So we're going to have two days to fly here until we have to renew our actual uh, permit. 
and then from here we would just click submit and then we would wait for it to get approved now in my case I've never flown this drone before the first time I did it it was actually a lot of headache trying to find this information um, it was a lot of self-learning but this was really easy and it got confirmed or I got approved in about five minutes and after you get approved that's not all you have to do so back in the DJI app we're gonna go back from our device management we're gonna go into settings from settings we're gonna click unlock geozone and if we forgot how to get here if we're in the main menu we're gonna go to profile we will click settings and then we can scroll down to unlock geozone and then our permit should be in here now this is where you want to turn the aircraft on and you want to check the permit there should be like a little toggle switch and you would just turn that on and that's how you would unlock a zone for your DJI aircraft